Now this bad boy is an IBM E server X series 220. This is a Pentium 3 machine with one and a half gigs of RAM currently installed. That's PC 133 SD RAM. Um, we're gonna toss in a solid state drive with Windows and Linux on it. Now, during this video, I did try to get a GTX 1060 working in this machine. Unfortunately, that attempt was unsuccessful. I was using this uh, PCI, where did I put it? Found it. I was using this uh, PCI to PCIe adapter along with a, a riser cable. And unfortunately, I tried everything. I worked on this for two days straight, trying to get the GTX 1060 and also a GT 1030 to work on this machine through this adapter and no luck, I could not get it working. So today, we are going to see what it's like using this machine in 2019 now uh, with the stock graphics, stock CPUs, and I say CPUs because this machine is a little bit special. It doesn't have just one CPU, it has two Pentium 3s at 1.1 gigahertz. So this is a lot more powerful than your run-of-the-mill Pentium 3 machine. And it can also take up to four gigabytes of RAM. It has a ton of internal I.O. I mean, this thing is loaded. This is a very capable machine from back in the day. This uh, machine was actually manufactured um, in 2001. I picked this up at a garage sale like three years ago for eight bucks. Um, and it's just been sitting in the back and I've been waiting to do something with it. So since I couldn't get the GTX 1060 to work, we are going to have another video on this machine. So stay tuned. In that video, I will toss in a GeForce um, 6200 along with uh, more RAM. And we will try to run some benchmarks, maybe 3D Mark. We'll see what we can get working on this machine then. But for now, let's see what it's like using this dual Pentium 3 machine with two modern operating systems. So I have Windows 7 installed on this SSD. Unfortunately, this machine will not run Windows 10, but it will run Windows 7 Ultimate. Um, and then I also have Zubuntu 18.04 installed on another solid state drive. So let's hook this thing up to the screencast and see how miserable it is to use modern operating systems on this Pentium 3 machine from 2001. So you can sort of think of this as a let's play, but instead of playing a game, we are taking a look at a very sluggish installation of Windows 7 and of course I'm going to look at Linux running on this machine as well. I have an installation of Zubuntu 18.04 sitting on a solid state drive right next to me. Both of these operating systems boot up pretty quickly and that is mainly due to the fact that once again both of these operating systems are running off a SSD. So that's pretty much the only change I've made to the system. Now you can see we have Windows 7 open right in front of us. Um, set at a pretty low resolution. Now this kind of reminds me of those notepad tutorials back in the day that would show you how to get like free RuneScape membership. And you can see that we're running at 1024 by 768. Now this will go all the way up to 1080p. I'm not going to set it to 1080p because the user experience is pretty painful at that resolution. The system's almost unusable. I mean, I haven't run Windows 7 on a machine like this in a good two to three years probably. Um, and a lot of the resources I used to use to get Windows 7 working on older hardware like this have since disappeared. I even had a hard time getting all my old applications I used to use. Um, for example, um, Chameleon right here. Applications open pretty quickly on this machine. So if you're just using it for basic office tasks, like browsing the web, as you can see what you're doing here, it works okay. Um, Definitely not, you know, a pleasant user experience. It seems like it is so far, but once I actually try to go to a site, you'll see that this uh, system comes to a screeching halt. So let's just go to Reddit real quick. Oh god, that is not what I want to see. Okay, so it turns out uh, the first thing on Reddit was something that I could not show on YouTube. <laughs> it's struggling with all of those images. And you can see that some of this stuff isn't even loading. Yeah, I mean, you can use Reddit, a site like Reddit with a lot of images on it, but uh, it is definitely a bit sluggish. And it also struggles with my site. So my site does have quite a few images on it as well. Memory usage really isn't that bad still. This is a very, very, very lightweight browser. Um, and you can see that it does actually support playing YouTube videos, though, as you would expect, um, the videos play back as a slideshow. Just pop open WordPad. Oh, I can do it. We'll do it. Yes, it did. So, hello, guys. Oh, that's actually pretty responsive right there. You can see that, once again, graphics-wise, we are dying over here. Um, but 
I mean, despite the fact that we don't have a video card, the system's working okay, and, uh, well, further stress it out by opening up, opening up, uh, Internet Explorer with the default MSN, uh, homepage. Uh, this might- okay. Alright, that was actually surprising. I didn't expect it to handle it that well. So, I mean, this is the system's performance with only 1.5 gigs of RAM and without a graphics card. And it's okay. It's not what I would consider to be a usable daily driver, um, but I think there is potential there for this to actually be a pretty usable system. Welcome to Zubuntu 18.04. Yes, system program problem detected, and that is not the fault of Zubuntu. That is the fault of this system configuration. So we are locked at 640 by 480, if I could get into settings right here. And you can see that just as uh, with Windows, I mean, as far as opening applications are concerned, everything's pretty responsive. The graphics are still god awful. Jesus, look at that. That is just painful to watch. So we have a lot more applications that we can mess around with on Zubuntu. I'm going to try to keep this short. I'll uh, open up an Office app as I did with uh, Windows. So this is LibreOffice. And we'll try to do a little bit of multitasking as well. I have Firefox installed on the system. Um, so we'll pop that open. Isn't <laughs> God? Oh my God! This is terrible. This is so bad. Can I? I mean, it's responsive, but just the the UI, everything's so big, and the area that we actually have available to type in is just so small. I can only see like one fifth of the paper right now. I mean, as you can see, it's responsive. It it works. And the same thing goes for Linux. I mean, it's really not a pleasant user experience right now. And is uh, Firefox ever going to open here? Hello? Firefox? There we go. We're getting something. As I said earlier, we do have a little bit more RAM to utilize right off the bat. So things should be a little bit better with Zubuntu. Though I'm not really noticing too much of a difference right now. Um, it's still kind of sluggish, and that 640 by uh, 480 uh, screen resolution is killing me. Like, if it's PG-13, I'll show it, but if it's past that, and it's, like, racist or anti-Semitic or something like that, I'm not going to show it, <laughs> because I don't want that garbage on my channel. Uh, I don't want to be associated with any of that at all. So I think this is... Okay, no, 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 it changed, thank God. Now, granted, we are running at a... Uh, significantly lower screen resolution. But this is actually pretty darn responsive. Ooh, that looks... <laughs> that does not look right. And you can see that things are actually a lot more responsive on Firefox with Zubuntu. That's interesting. Because if you remember when I tried to load the page uh, at first with Chameleon, I mean, we couldn't even scroll down. Um, it was pretty much just locked. This is a little bit, I mean, this is still sort of a slideshow, but a little bit less of a slideshow. Yeah, that's, that's not, that's not really watchable. So I thought there were some built-in benchmarks on this operating system. I think I was thinking of Lubuntu, which I was using earlier, but decided to switch to Zubuntu. Um, so we're not going to be able to run those. I was looking forward to that. This does have some games installed, though. So I've been scrolling through here for about <laughs> three minutes now, trying to find a game that I actually want to play. Let's go for this one. Oh, I double-clicked. Okay, here we go. Whoa. Okay. It, like, pop it keeps popping up. What is going on right now? So I think the goal here... Okay, I think I understand what we're supposed to be doing. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, I think I have to move it one more time. To, ah. All right, well, it works. <laughs> so that was a uh, brief look at trying some daily tasks on Windows 7 and Zubuntu 18.04. Next video uh, featuring the system, we will have more RAM. I will have a video card that will actually work for the system. I'm really disappointed that the uh, GTX 1060 will not work for the system through the uh, PCI to PCI um, E adapter. I might look into that some more. I spent two days on it and pretty much tried everything I could possibly think of um, and find online. So that's going to be about it for this video. That was a pretty painful <laughs> look at both operating system. The graphics on this thing are just awful. Oh my gosh. 
they are not responsive at all. Very, very painful to watch for me, and I know you guys are going to feel the exact same way. So I'm really looking forward to getting a functional video card into this system. Because I think once we do that, the system actually has a lot of potential. Uh, thanks again for watching, guys. I will see you in the next installment of A Computers and Technology.